Joining me from Charlotte, North Carolina, is Mary C. Curtis. She's the host of the podcast, Equal Time, with Mary C. Curtis, and a columnist with Roll Call, a newspaper that covers Capitol Hill. Mary, we heard Nathan's takeaway. Uh, what was your big takeaway? I think the big headline for a lot of people in America was the fact that he announced uh, another goal for vaccinations, 200 million shots in the first 100 days, saying hope is here. Help is here. Hope is on the way, I should say. Yes, he always wants to be optimistic, and he knows that after this year and change of a pandemic that people want to get out, uh, and they're anxious. And so the fact that he is promising this vaccines, and it's going pretty well, is a big plus. So, of course, he would emphasize that. Uh, as your correspondent said as well, this was a big test. It's his first an uncontrolled, so to speak, meeting with the press at length. So everyone had their eyes on it. Do you agree with our correspondent, Nathan, who said he was actually stunned when not a single reporter asked a question about COVID-19? More than 500,000 people in this country have lost their lives and not a single question? Well, I was surprised, uh, particularly since even though the country is plateauing, we do have the variants. And because we have the 50 states, different states are opening up. So we've seen some increases in, I believe, at least 20 states. So it's not exactly uh, like we can look at it in the rearview mirror. Uh, I also thought that he would get more on the gun control issue, being that, as we know, any presidency has to deal with events. And in this case, of course, we had, had, we had in the United States uh, two mass shootings within the space of a week, which revived the gun control debate. But the fact that he, in that last question, said it really quite wasn't a pr priority, I think uh, it just shows how much of a partisan issue and how there has not been a lot of um, progress on it, even though he has said he wants the assault weapons ban reinstated and more and stronger background checks. Yeah, on gun reform, immigration reform, climate change. Um, he said he plans to tackle each of those issues one at a time and does not want to engage in politics of division. Is that the right approach, Mary? I think he believes it is. He's still looking for Republican cooperation, although he did speak uh, when he talked about the filibuster and said if he can't get his agenda through, that he is looking at that. And I think he really spoke very strongly about voting rights, mm -hmm. where he said some of these Republican states and their um, effort to restrict voting, he called it un-American. Uh, and he said it was not Jim Crow, it was uh, Jim Eagle. It was uh, tough. And so he's, and that is something I think that will be a priority for the Democratic Party, and you are going to see some big fights ahead. And on what's happening with the surge in immigration numbers on the southern border, he called it unacceptable. But he said, yes. we're seeing the surge uh, not because, uh, and I'm quoting here, not because I'm a nice guy. Yes, he basically fought back at that narrative that Republicans are pushing that it's Biden's policies. He talked about you see these surges with every presidency and, you, and it's more seasonal. And it's the fact of there's uh, violence and poverty in the home countries. So he talked a lot about cooperating with Mexico, uh, about keeping more immigrants and these other countries. He really fought back that narrative, but he did say, I, I am approaching it with humanity. And he blamed the Trump administration for shutting down some of the facilities or, or reducing funds that were there to handle uh, this, uh, what is going on at the border. And he also said Kamala Harris, his vice president, is taking the lead on those border issues. Yes, yeah, she's the vice, Madam Vice President has a very big job ahead. Uh, so I think he will lean on her in a way, the same way as President Obama gave Vice President Joe, uh, Joe Biden a very important portfolio. So this will be a big test for the Vice President. A big test on a very, very important issue, a crisis at the southern border. Thank you, Mary C. Curtis.